Hi there, this is Sam Gosner with Versilian Studios, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use SFC files. To get started here, I'll go to our Versilian Upright number one uh, web page here. Now this is a free uh, upright piano sound set, and for the longest time we've provided this as a VSD or audio unit plugin. Uh, or for Contact, the full version of Contact 4 or higher. Recently, due to a variety of uh, bugs and other issues uh, dealing with newer operating systems not really liking the uh, audio unit and VST versions of our old instruments, we've decided to port a lot of our library over to this SFC format. Now what sets SFC apart from, let's say, VST, for example, is that it's not actually a plugin. It's not something that your digital audio workstation can directly interface with. SFC files are basic uh, instrument instruction files. They say, here are a bunch of samples, and here's how they should be used. And in order to use them, let me download the SFC version here while I'm talking. In order to use them, we need to use a sampler. A sampler takes this instrument instruction file, it takes the samples, and it presents them to your digital audio workstation, or you, directly, uh, for your convenient playing access. So let's grab, we'll need a sampler. There are two options I'd recommend today. Uh, as of making this, there's Forzando by Plogue and Sfiz by the SFC Tools uh, project. So Sforzando is what I generally recommend for Mac and uh, Windows users. Uh, it's rather straightforward, not too difficult to use or anything, um, and it's fairly stable. It's It's been in uh, consistent development for a long time. It hasn't changed enormously. Uh, SF uh, Sviz, on the other hand, is a new, much more recent development. It's primarily for Linux users, uh, but it will run uh, to some extent on Mac and, and Windows. Uh, so it's getting new features all the time. It's getting some extended features, which are very exciting. Uh, but it's maybe perhaps not quite as stable as Sforzando. So if you're on Windows and uh, Mac OS, I recommend using Sforzando. Now, as you can see, your Sforzando is like a uh, plugin itself. You can load it inside your digital audio workstation, or you can use it as a standalone application. I'll download it here for Windows. All right, got it downloaded. Let's look at our hall here. So we have our uh, SFC files here in the uh, zip. And then we have our installer. Now this is a bog standard installer, like any other program. Uh, the one thing I do want to mention is when you get to the pages asking about uh, where you would like the VSD file installed to, make sure that they match the location that you have set in your digital audio workstation to look for VSDs, or else it may not show up when you try to load it. Let's go ahead and extract the contents of our zip file here. And here we go, we have a folder now. You can take a look. We have our uh, samples in here, a simple how to use that text document, which is basically going over what I'm going on here. Uh, and then we have our SFC, which if I open this in a text editor, you can see is just as I described. It's a series of instructions saying, here's a sample. Here's the velocity range it can play at. Here's the key range it should play in. Here's what pitch it is. Uh, and it defines every single uh, sample in the instrument. Now, this is something that you don't need to worry about or look at or do anything with unless you want to. Uh, and that's the great part about SFC. If you or anyone else decides that they want to make changes or additions or anything else to these instruments or even make your own SFC instruments, 
uh, all you need is a text editor. You don't need any special uh, programs or applications to make them or edit them. We also, of course, have our samples folder. But again, you don't need to worry about anything here. Just take this whole folder right here and move it into a location that you like. Maybe you have a, a samples uh, folder somewhere in your computer or a, a samples hard drive uh, or USB stick or something. Just move it somewhere where you will remember you put it. So I have uh, Sforzando already open here. Now you can see instructions are quite simple. Drop a supported file to start. It can take SFC. It can take uh, WAV files that have certain metadata, not all WAV files, um, as well as uh, old SoundFont2 files. Now please note SFC is not the same thing as a sound font. They're very different structurally and very different in uh, how they're coded. SFC is a much newer uh, format than sound font. Uh, it can do way more things than sound font ever could. Uh, so it's a very exciting uh, new format. All we need to do to load our SFC file is simply select it and as instructed, drag and drop it in. Now you can also go in here and select import if you wish. Um, I'll just drag and drop this. And here it's loaded up. Let's see if I can get this playing for you so you can hear something. There you go. Volume's a little low. We have our volume knob here. We can pan the instruments. There's a basic effects bank here with some uh, reverb in here and such. And then there's a control screen, and these controls depend on the SFC file. Uh, someone editing the SFC file can put more controls in here, such as an equalizer, uh, even more exciting things. And you also have a settings page. You can uh, use different uh, intonations in here, uh, different temperaments, um, and make other changes uh, to the way it behaves. You can also, in the standalone version here, import a MIDI file or directly make a, a wave recording of something you're working on. But these features are not available, of course, in the plugin version, uh, where you'll more likely be using your digital audio workstation for all that kind of functionality. So you can send a MIDI track into uh, Sforzando and control it that way. So there are also some other exciting things about SFC. For example, you can use a large variety of different sounds in here. So for example, here I have our Chamber Orchestra 2 Community Edition, which uh, is available in an SFC format. So I can grab, uh, let's see, what do we want? Maybe some contrabass pizzicato. Horn staccato. And so on. We have all these different sounds that we can try. Oboes, organs, etc. We also have our free VCSL collection here which is also in a uh, SFC format. And if you dig down, you can find all these SFC patches. Uh, for example, I can load up uh, some grand pianos here. Here's a Steinway we sampled. Let's go up an octave.
So you can turn this into anything you want. Do you want a Flemish harpsichord? <laughs> And there are also these SFCs from all sorts of other companies, so you can get all sorts of sounds uh, you want just this way. All you need are these SFZ files and a player such as Forzando. And you can just uh, keep loading different patches until you find what you need. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough, and if you have any questions or issues, please feel free to send us an email at our contact address, uh, or post them in the description below, although we may not see them, so I uh, hope it's not an urgent issue. Alright, well happy composing, and good luck!